Hey there. It's full on rent time. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you've been watching my channel and any of my videos, I'm obviously a big film geek, a big Doctor Who fan. Love movies, love science fiction, love horror. Anyway. This one is for more of a rant. For the last two years, two or three, two or three, years, the last couple of years, I've been going to the Montreal Comic Con every year. I don't live in Montreal. Yeah, I spend a lot of money to fly to Montreal to go to the Comic Con. I met people like William Shatner, Doug Bradley, Gunnar Hansen, uh, Patrick Stewart, Stan Lee, uh, Tom Savini, awesome dude, and many others. And I've, by far and large, mostly enjoyed myself. It has been pretty much up in, in upping themselves every year. So, this year, I guess, maybe it's my fault a little bit. I ex maybe I expected something just a little bit more. But, there are convention this year is going to be September the 13th to the 15th. Now, Friday. It's going to, so, it's going to start on a Friday the 13th. And uh, it's this year, so it's like the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. And this is a convention that deals strongly in sci-fi, and as of last year, added a horror aspect to their, condition called, to their convention called Horror Fest. So, obviously, so, since it's going to be on Friday the 13th, and it's the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, I should be super stoked about going there this year. And normally by this time, I've got my tickets, they're, and they're like the bigger tickets. I get the deluxe or the VIPs, and I'm all ready, and my trip is planned, and I'm going. Well, it looks like this year I'm not going. Uh, this year, on the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, they have decided that they would go with reuniting the cast of the series Bellstar Galactica, well, most of the cast, the newer series, because it's been out for maybe 10 years. Now, nothing against Battlestar. It's a decent show, and it definitely has a f dedicated fan base. But, uh, Doctor Who has been on for 50 years. It has a, an extremely loyal and vocal fan base. It has a large fan base. And uh, you go to Walmart nowadays, you'll see Doctor Who DVDs from the original series. You go to Costco, you're pretty much seeing Doctor Who all over the place. They cover of Entertainment Weekly. Doctor Who, the number one cult show of all time. And yeah, it deserved it. Uh, here's a show that lasted it's from the 60s, 1963 to 1989. Uh, seven doctors, seven actors played that role. Uh, the show managed to go off the air, keep its magazine running, start doing audios, having spin off videos by independent companies uh, about characters from the Doctor Who series come back in 2005, successfully relaunched this series, not not rebooted or anything like that, but just started up from when, basically, when the audios ended, when the audio adventures ended. So even if you hadn't watched the audio adventures, it, it basically started up from, like it had never ended. And became even more popular than it originally was, back in its heyday with Tom Baker when they had guys like Douglas Adams writing it. Uh, now you got guys like Neil Gaiman writing episodes of Doctor Who. So, having somebody from Doctor Who, original or new series, and, I mean, with 50 years of cast members to go through, with 50 years of other doctors and or companions, uh, there was no way that you could not get somebody from Doctor Who. Put it to you, in this context, a smaller convention, Helicon, 
done in Halifax, and this is on a much smaller scale than the Montreal Comic Con is done on, actually has Peter Davison, who played the fifth Doctor, the fifth actor that played the Doctor in, in Doctor Who. However, uh, Montreal Comic Con has told us that he cannot find any actor to, from the Doctor Who series to go to the Montreal, to be a representative at the Montreal Comic Con. And let's put this into perspective here. Guess what? No Doctor Who actor has been in the last two Comic Cons either. Hmm. And on the 50th, the 50th anniversary, 5 0, you can't get us a Doctor Who. And, uh, nobody? Not an assistant? You can't have somebody representing the series on, on the 50th anniversary of the show? I mean, even if every doctor is booked up somewhere on that exact date, and I doubt that very much, I bet on it. The doctor has had a ton of companions and assistants along the way. Uh, so, no, there is no way that there is absolutely zero people that you can get to represent Doctor Who on its 50th year. What has happened here is that you've got a convention that has taken its eggs and put it all into one basket with Battlestar Galactica. And they've got other guests too, but they're focusing on that and hoping that that's going to draw in everybody. Galactica already has a con. It's called Galcon. And taking nothing away from the fact that they managed to get the cast of Battlestar Galactica, except for Grace Kim, which is what, what, the hottest guy. One name, so they couldn't get her. Uh, but uh, she was doing Y50. So uh, that's great. But you don't take all from one fan base and ignore the other fan base. You don't bullshit us and try and tell us that our hands are tied. No, they're not. Hey, and maybe, maybe before this is over, uh, maybe before the convention actually starts, they're going to have a big announcement. There's going to be some big Doctor Who people coming. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say I'm sorry and stuff like that. Uh, but you know what? I shouldn't have to. This should be done by now. It's the 50th freaking anniversary. If you wanted to sell your tickets, which none are sold out, you might have wanted not to put your eggs in one basket. Number two. I truly respect the guys who work in horror and the horror fest aspect of uh, the Montreal Comic Con. The horror fest has been incredible. It started last year. They brought an orphan killer, which was great. Matt Friendsworth, amazing. Diane, amazing. Uh, they brought in Trauma, and they brought in Tom Savini and Gunnar Hansen. That's incredible. This year, it's starting on Friday the thirteenth, and we've yet to hear of anybody from Friday the thirteenth coming. Gonna have a horror fest on Friday the thirteenth, and it's already July. It's happening in September, and there's no mention of anybody from a the series movie or TV series Friday the thirteenth. with a crap load of people that played the actor Jason and so many actors from the original series that would love to movie series that would love the original film that would love to be into the convention. Uh, and you know I've asked some people have not been asked, I know. Huh. Anyway. Normally around this time I would be coming on here and I'd be excited. I'd be talking about getting ready for the con. I'd be talking about all the exciting stuff there. And there are actually some people that I kind of wanted to see. I wouldn't have mind meeting George Takei. That's great. I wouldn't have mind meeting Lou Fregno from the Hulk series. That's 
that's fantastic. But these are two glaring oversights that I cannot let pass. And that is going to stop me from going to the con this year, I think, because you know what? I really don't like being insulted. And right now I feel my fandom's been insulted, and my intelligence has been insulted. And if they come on tomorrow and they say, well, here's our Doctor Who guest, we're keeping them for the last minute, there's a Friday 13th, we're keeping them for the last minute, and I'll come on here and I'll promote that. I will say, what? hey, look, they have this. But right now, no. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. If you want to see Galactica actors, go to Galcon. It's time for tea. Montreal Comic Con. Shame on you.